Hi, here I am going to show you how to configure QuinApp TVS471 box. This is one of the good model from QuinApp. This box has 4 uh, gigabit network ports, can be support port ranking, fault tolerance, load balancing, etc. Here we have two buttons. One is select button, which we can select which option you would like to select. And the other one is under. Now, if I go for select, it goes right zero now. It asks me all the three drives should be as a single drive. No. Or JBOD. No, I don't want to JB. I don't want to configure as a JBOD. Instead, I can go for RAID 5. This is RAID 5 with the parity option. Now I'm going to select as I'm going to accept as under from red file. Yeah, it's almost going to the end. Creating red file 100 percentage. You will see these three indications blinking over here. The red is configuring now. It's almost end. Here we go. The red has been configured already. Now I have two options. Either configure NIC from the box itself or using the software from the PC. Okay, I'm going to configure QuinApp NAS box now using the software called QuinApp QFinder 5.0.1. My PC is connected to the same switch where the TVS471 has been connected. When you open the application, automatically this NAS box has been found. Here you will see the name of NAS box is this by default one and the IP address taken by DSCP and the box name is shown here, the device type is shown here and the latest firmware 4.1.3 released on 8.4.2015 this is the latest one and the MAC address has been uh, the, at the moment I have connected only one interface which is LAN number one that MAC address will be shown here if you want to configure the LAN card or uh, host name and all you can straight away go for configuration tab here when you click over here it opens the login page the username is admin admin password also the same it comes now okay the device name if I told you want look you want to change it now you can change it I'm going to change it call a standard name okay and date and time okay by default it will go to GMT but we need to change it to uh, my region which is Abu Dhabi Muscat and the time zone time also I need to be changed because if I want to connect this onto active directory you must change the time to your uh, local region and it, it it's supposed to be matched with your active directory mission only five minutes difference is allowed if it is more than that you cannot configure you cannot connect this box onto your active directory so what I am supposed what I supposed to do I have an option here called set the device time the same as your computer time because my lap my computer is already connected to domain where the active directory is linked in so I can select this and click on apply before to that I can go for password if I want to change it to password default is admin and I can change it to anything which I which I need uh, and network setting uh, at the moment you see four interface here is all independent interfaces uh, by default the DSCP has been selected so I want to configure this as a, a static IP address so here I can do it so before to that I have an option to make it uh, the interface in different way uh, if I go for settings here I can make it trending of these interfaces like 2 by 2 or 4 by 1 or whatever 
see by default it will go to active backup tracking mode uh, the best option uh, in tracking mode is balance rr uh, balance rr if you select balance rr as a tracking both will do both interface will balance uh, depends on the traffic and in case one uh, interface failure one automatically act and work uh, gives the all performance so balance rr is good first uh, first good option or if you want to make it active backup like one interface or always will become an active backup and only one interface will work at a time so i'm going to configure as a balance rr there are other options also that depends on the model uh, it may not available i'm going to configure as a balance rr here what i need to do i select here so automatically it tag it will tie with the both interfaces this two become a tracking now in case you want to make another tracking for another two interfaces you can always do that by using the uh, option here whatever you would like you would like to change you can change it and click on the other interface this both will be tagged i'm not going to do now because i need only one uh, tracking for one and two i click ok and now i need to put the ip address here now you will see ethernet one plus one is already tie tagged here these two are different so i go here and put the ip address now okay the setup mask is that and the gateway as well okay by default obtain dns server is selected so i want to change it that as well so this is the dns server okay and then alternative i'm going to do for my isp okay i click apply it will take some time uh, to go to do application okay i'll click it will tell you the secondary dns is not found no problem i don't mind as long as i have the primary uh, dns is selected here that's fine i'm going to go for yes now it will take some time okay it has came back after restart the box now we will see the new ip address here and the the pinup has selected that uh, i will go directly to login here when I click over here, okay, it comes to the web page. Username is admin and password also the same. Okay, now, <coughs> okay, some information how to go with that. You can just skip it and quick start also. We don't want that, okay. Uh, you will see that it is a uh, very friendly uh, software and it's a linux embedded uh, operating system uh, we will have different type of uh, options over here as an icon familiar like uh, android or um, uh, uh, apple uh, so uh, quickly one or two i will show you control panel will give you all the option like how you change it the the options like uh, the the core settings of your box storage manager will give you the information about your uh, uh, um, right controller and volume device volume information iskc or whatever uh, shared folder will give you uh, how, what are the folders that have been shared users also the same app center uh, is an option where you can download new apps if at all you want from their uh, app center Okay, before we go for uh, configuring anything, I will show you the difference, how the box will be before Active Directory and after uh, after you connect, attach to the Active Directory. When you go to users, you will see only users, uh, local users here. You will not find any other users here also. If there is a domain user, you will not find anything here, whereas local users find here. Okay, so that's just for the info, just for your information before we start. Okay, in control panel, uh, we have uh, network here as we discussed before. If at all we want to change it, we can change it here also. There are uh, tracking options and 
uh, Wi-Fi if you have any Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi small Wi-Fi USB available you can connect this works as a Wi-Fi as well okay that is all about that and uh, any firmware av available firmware can be downloaded check for update and if there is new one it automatically downloads no harm in that nothing lost uh, and backup and restore if the box wants to go for uh, uh, factory reset you can do it by taking the backup of set, uh, settings backup or whatever it is restore to factory default two settings here one is reset settings which reset only the settings what we made regarding the password network settings and all uh, reinitialize NAS will erase everything including user data okay so uh, what I'm, I'm going to show you in storage manager also you will see uh, my storage manager has a uh, storage pool which is uh, RAID 5 controller total 6 six into uh, 3 into 2 TB hard drive I had so that means for 6 GB I will have so one is gone to parity so 3.62 has been selected from storage pool which is this and after that uh, there is a oleum also selected for example if you go to disk I will have 3 disk here 1 2 3 when you click here it will find all the information here how good it is what is the status of summary etc of all the drive one is free here there is no drive over here there is no hard disk here uh, storage pool gives the information about our na uh, my uh, storage uh, RAID 5 I have 3.62 TB capacity total in that uh, automatically half of the uh, drive space of half of the uh, space uh, selected as a volume that you will find it here data volume it's automatically uh, created if I want to uh, remove it or change it or whatever I can do it from here itself but leave it as it is is a data volume 1.78 TB half of the total 3.62 TB uh, then is nothing is used 1.78 TB is a free it's already it is going synchronization is going on because it's just co been configured and volumes will give you the same information like uh, in th within the uh, storage pool the volume is half of the volume which is 1.78 TB uh, by default there are three uh, volumes been uh, directory has been created public web and homes the homes will be uh, users data I mean home folders of individual user web is if at all you want to configure this as a web like uh, apache or uh, uh, mysql or whatever this all information will go here stores here in public as normal okay and if you want to create another shared folder you can create here but we are going to do this after uh, we connected to active directory catch accelerator option is not available on this model particular model and apart from that if you want to make it ice uh, you can do it by using the uh, Wizard, I see target with uh, map land uh, for the uh, better backup system you can select this first option as a default go for next and go for next again you can put the uh, ISKC name whatever uh, name when you want to put it you can put it I put something like uh, test and click on next and uh, use chap as indication if you want to create you can create for the better uh, uh, connectivity or uh, authentication uh, since we are going to configure this as an active directory so we can just skip it and we have two options here one is uh, you want to create on the uh, entire volume here like a system volume here if you select this is se select it directly goes on to the first volume uh, on the storage pool in case you you if you have a if you have more than one volume you can select for this option and select whatever volume from the drop, drop down box at the moment I have only one volume so even you can go on this and click on next it shows the summary and when you click on uh, finish it automatically creates uh, we are not going to create now uh, and backup also you can do it uh, from the ISK, ISKC user data and everything you can do backup using this application the, using the tab over here that's all about the uh, volume information um, now I'm going to configure uh, uh, this box onto active directory 
uh, for that I need to go for control panel again uh, then I have an option here called privilege settings go with that and if you go to users you will not find any users only the default users and uh, user here domain users nil okay so what do you do we have two options domain security and domain controller domain controller if you want to make this as a domain controller you can do it and this application this uh, the uh, operating system support uh, domain controller as a backup or additional domain controller connecting to the main NAS etc so what we wanted to connect to active directory in the network so domain security if I go I have three options one is no domain security which is by default and active directory authentication domain member so this uh, NAS box going to be a member onto my current existing active directory what I need to do select this and uh, I'm happy to go with the quick configuration wizard uh, we need these are the information in hand that's what this is okay click on next uh, I'm going to put my um, active directory DNS domain name which should be a full name like uh, my domain uh, dot local or dot com or dot org or whatever it is it should be a fully qualified DNS name uh, so when you put that automatically the uh, net bias name will be selected here I mean appeared here and make sure the DNS uh, name uh, IP address will be the same when you put this and click next it will search for some time and if the parameters connectivity everything are fine is connect to the active directory then give you the uh, confirmation so uh, I will connect this and uh, come back right after that okay now you will see that my uh, NAS box has uh, successfully joined with the uh, joint to my uh, active directory the summary is shown here domain information and NAS has joined the domain uh, successfully so I have to click on finish here 